is this pandemic ever going to end? So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I'm taking a risk with this video. YouTube may just ban it and not let it be shown. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, people have asked, and so I've responded to that. And here's uh, what the cards uh, will tell us. Uh, and I'll try to do this as discreetly and as kindly as possible. But uh, here's here we go. <coughs> Okay, so the question here is, um, is this the end of uh, the coronavirus pandemic, this difficult situation that we're in? Is this the end of it? Um, or is there some big variation uh, in the cards? So that's the question that was asked. Is this the end of this um, difficult situation we've all been going through for low of these two plus years? Is this the end or is something bigger coming along? Is this the end? Or something bigger coming along. Too many cards for me to use. Is this the end? Or is there something bigger coming along? Let's have a moment of meditation right away. Is this the end of the situation or is something bigger coming along? Is this the end or is there something more that we're going to have to face soon? Okay, is this the end of this coronavirus situation or is there something more that's coming along? Let's get six cards out of here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Is this the end? Or is there something else that we need to look out for? Okay, signifier card. Is this the end? Or is there something else coming along? All right, so in this one we get the seven of um, wands. And uh, the seven of wands, uh, why am I drawing a blank on that? The seven of well, wands are, are plans, actions, forward movement. And uh, the seven of wands, I'm going to look it up. I just don't want to waste time. Uh, trying to uh, rack my brain about it. Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands. Uh, oh, yeah. This is so clear. If you think of the regular Rider Waite deck, the Seven of Wands, there's six wands kind of poking up, up a cliff, and all you see is the tip of them, and there's one person at the top of the cliff with one wand kind of fending them off. So this Seven of Wands, kind of with that in mind, this Seven of Wands kind of brings to me, you know, the difficulty of the situation, the difficulty of the plans, and uh, it's really got the back bent for this person. But this uh, Seven of Wands is typically a very hopeful card. So this uh, um, plans, actions, forward movement is telling me that, yeah, there's, there, there's, there's potential, okay, for something else to come along. But uh, we have the tool that it takes, we have the strength that it takes, although it's breaking our back to move forward. Interesting. Uh, the challenge today as to whether there's something else coming along or is this the end um, is this, uh, let me see, what do we got here? Is this a king or a queen? This is uh, number 14. So uh, 10, 11, 12, 34. So this is the king. So this is the king of cups. King of cups is right here. So a huge offer of compassion. So the challenge to this potentiality for something to come along is the compassion uh, that's brought to it at a king's dose. The uh, base of this reading then uh, with this, uh, how many do we have here? This is the Eight of Cups. Cups are uh, compassion, emotion, heartfelt situation. And the Eight of Cups is typically having to turn away from something of major emotional importance to you. 
interesting. And that's the base of this reading. So is this where we've been? Is that uh, we've had to turn away from all those emotionally important situations that we've had to put on hold. We've had to hold at a distance. Um, that's been the base of this reading. And maybe that's the base that we need going forward. The uh, past of this reading then is this uh, eight of uh, pentacles. And the eight of pentacles is uh, typically, let me look that one up too. Uh, is because these cards don't, aren't um, clearly, uh, they don't clearly tell you what the divination might be. And my mind's just going a mile a minute. Oh, yeah. The Eight of Pentacles is the apprentice card in the typical Rider Waite deck. The apprentice has been practicing his craft, practicing his craft. He's got a bunch of what he's working on hung up on the wall, and he's working on a little more. So, and, but in this deck, it has a little bit of an ominous tone to it, doesn't it? So this Eight of Pentacles shows us this basket full of, of what we've accomplished. But look, there's one little piece down here that isn't quite... Uh, made it into the basket, and in front of it is a skull and crossbones. That's in the past, though. Okay, it's not in the future. That's in the past. In the sky of this reading, for whether is this the end of coronavirus or will there be something else? Is this um, is this a nine? This would be let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So is this nine of uh, uh, pentacles? And uh, the nine of pentacles is typically just a very lush. Uh, it shows a woman uh, who's typically very uh, uh, dressed uh, as if her clothing is very expensive, and she has a very lush environment around her. She has a lot of worth around her. But in this card, it shows us he, this this person has all that worth. They have all that value in the basket on their back, but it's almost weighing them down. And they've had to throw themselves over the fire to protect that value. And that's what's in the sky. So we're really going to have to guard our value with our life. Okay to uh in this in regard to this question and the likely outcome for this first part is to is whether this is the end of coronavirus i'll put it at that <coughs> so this is the two of uh pentacles or is this the 11. let me think about this this is the two of pentacles um this is the major arcana this is the typically the next person that the fool meets on that journey. And so this would represent the Pope S, actually. And the Pope S comes to us with all the um, knowledge of the world, all the um, uh, strength and the knowledge that we need to move the thing forward with, with, uh, with some compassion. Interesting. So that's a likely outcome. So this tells us, that this says to me as to whether we're at the end of coronavirus, this says to me that we have everything we need to hold it at bay, okay, to make it the end. But let's see the last part of this question as to whether there's something else uh, coming along. Okay. And uh, so we're going to take the signifier of that question is right here with this uh, 11 of Pentacles, and this will be a page of Pentacles. Okay, so the page is the very weakest of the royal court card. He's got a bell on it. No, that's a tassel. Okay, so he's the very weakest of the court card. This is a message of value. So this is a weak message of value as to whether there is something else coming along. So I would say this is a very weak um, representation of what that next thing coming along might be. Weak. And we've seen that. We've seen a, a series of mutations of this thing that have been weaker and weaker and weaker. Weaker. Uh, the um, environment that that's in with this four of swords. Yeah, four of swords. So four of swords are small term celebrations. You can see the celebratory wreath right here. You can see the skull, um, which to me is death. So celebrations. So this weak um, offering of a potential something else coming along is the environment of the celebrations that we've had uh, against uh, this, um, this virus. Hopes of the fears for that uh, right here is with this um, king of swords, truth, justice, rules, law, the king of, of that, truth, king of truth, king of justice, king of rules, king of law. So it looks like uh, what governs us is what's going to is what's going to protect us, I would say. And then the final outcome of the whole thing, uh, is this the end of coronavirus or something else bigger coming along? And we end this up with the five of the major arcana, and this is the, um, as a matter of fact, the five is the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is the government. So it just backs up what I just said right there. So is the end of coronavirus? Let's read the whole thing again. It says, we've had a heavy load that's almost broken our back, 
but we fought everything off. And it's in the environment of this king of cups, this huge offer of compassion uh, is what uh, has been the challenge to uh, breaking that back. And the base of this reading with this uh, eight of uh, cups is having to turn our back on uh, on uh, so many things that are so important to us. And that has been the base of what's been going on. And then the past of this reading with this eight of pentacles is knowing that we have a lot of value, um, and um, but it, it's been hard uh, come by. Okay. Uh, the sky of this reading, uh, again, with the value with this nine of value, again, just shows us tons of value. It's been hard fought. We've had to throw ourselves on the fire to keep our value. And that's been very true. And then the um, lucky outcome of the first part of that with this uh, two of uh, the major arcana, this um, Pope S almost, uh, is um, the knowledge and the strength and the will that we need to beat it. We have it right here. Then um, is there something else coming along? Well, we get a page of coins here. So very little value of what else might be coming along. And it's in the environment of this uh, four of uh, swords. You know what? The fours of swords, I read that wrong. But because the four of swords is actually um, knowing when to take a beat before we move forward. And this happens to me a lot. I'm sorry. But when the cards aren't very clear and I have to really think, uh, that's the problem. But the four of swords is having to take a beat before you move forward. So this very weak uh, offer of what might be coming next is um, in the environment of us knowing when to stop and really make some considerations before we make whatever our moves are for the future. In the hopes of the fears for the whole that thing is very good because we have it here in this king of swords who is the king of truth, justice, rules, law. That's what's going to save us. Rules, justice. And then the final outcome of the whole thing is the Hierophant, which is the government. So, yeah, what is going to save us from whatever this weak thing that might be coming along is following what our government tells us. Well, I hope this video makes it through and doesn't get banned by YouTube. And uh, if it does, then please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And let me know what you'd like to ask, because that's how I make my list of what I'm going to uh, do the readings on. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so this Sola Busca Tarot uh, are great cards. These are museum quality, and uh, these are uh, in the era of the Italian Renaissance. So I love these cards. Los Carabio, amazing box that come in. Look at that. And uh, you really feel like you got a great gift if you got these. The book is pretty cool, too, but it's not in color, but it's a lot of interesting story. I mean, you have to be interested in reading this to kind of get through the book, but there's some good tips on divination in there, too. The cards... Um, are great. I mean, they're slick, they're big. Um, so that's something that makes them a little bit hard to use. But, um, you know, these date back from around, like I said, the mid to late 1700s, I guess. And they're an assemblage of different uh, uh, examples of cards from a couple different uh, museum pieces, I think, or private collections. And then they put them together to make this whole 78 card stack. But, I mean, look, I mean, they're gorgeous. You see them? How beautiful they are and colorful. It's just hard to use them. Um, you just have to commit to uh, how are you going to uh, work out your divination. So, really love these cards. I'm so glad I got them. Solabusca Tarot. And, um, but honestly, I don't use them that often because they're a little tricky to use. Gosh, and look what a mess I made trying to do this. You know, this is a good way to mix the cards up. And uh, if you want somebody, if you're doing a reading and you want to kind of get their energy into the cards, I mean, look how much you have to handle them to get them back together so that's all good uh, for me as far as getting the uh, cards uh, mixed up with some good uh, juju i'm mark my journey through tarot tomorrow's another day stop by we'll do it again ciao for now you really make a big difference thank you